just hobbled on the last day before he goes back to Minnesota, baby. Yes, opening weekend. Oh, last day, last day, baby. <laughs> Every time I think, I dream of the moments of the past and the ones to come. Carried by gusts of wind or downpouring rain, memories stay. Bad times disappear. Every day we are reminded why we do what we do. Get that animal. It's the times we cherish. That is gorgeous, brother. With the old and the new. From the first flock to the last bird. The high fives. The laughter. Whether it's a walk or a chase, I am influenced. Are you? Fall is always one of my favorite times of the year. In North Dakota, it has a special place in my heart. The reason being is you have the opportunity to shooting a velvet deer early season. Matt Flum, a good buddy of mine, was sending me pictures of multiple giant bucks that he had on camera. As the season got closer and closer, the more pictures he was sending me. And he knew, and he was confident, and we had a great opportunity of putting multiple deer on the ground. So Colin and I grabbed our cameras, grabbed our bows, and headed out west. After arriving and having two spots with potential shooters, we decided to split up. I went with Grant, Joe went with Matt, and we headed in the blinds for day one. I mean, we definitely had the opportunity to shoot a, I mean, a nice one, really nice one, but I mean, that's good mojo. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's gonna be good one, I think, too, so. Now we're gonna shoot a big one, really big one. you know hunting has its highs and it has its lows 
and we were definitely in a lull. Shortly after getting into the blind day two, we noticed that the farmer just left the field, which meant no deer were probably gonna show up. As the sun dropped, that was the case. Not one deer showed itself. So we were definitely in a low. But we got out of the blind, went and got some good sleep, and got up early the next morning with high hopes that we were gonna get it done on day three. Tonight's the night, it's gonna happen. Show yeah. time, go time. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. just got back to the truck and uh, on the walk back we got the text message from the other boys and guess what they shot one so we are uh, I'm gonna give them a shout here and see what the lowdown is but I think my text messages went through so because they got we got there so we'll see maybe they didn't get ours but I'd give them the news that we just shot a freaking double. But we went and checked, there's good blood. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? You there? Yeah, I'm here. I just got back to the truck. You shot a nice one. Which, yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's my first bow buck, so I'm pretty excited about it. Let's get back to the truck, gonna grab a few things, go out and see if we can track them. You guys see anything tonight? Heck yeah, brother! Dude, congrats. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. That's sweet. Well, we, uh, we saw some deer tonight. Um, I, uh, I shot skinny. You shot skinny? Nice. Nice. Do you have velvet on him or don't you? are not sure. He's full velvet. Yeah, he is a velvet. super, yeah. super sweet buck. He's a big nine. 
Awesome. Yep, really wide, tall, just a beautiful buck. He's kind of funky, but yeah, he's super cool. Nice, so we got, got a double. Yeah, but guess what? What's up? You're not gonna believe this, but we sat in the blind, we stuck it out, and Matt freaking shot his big 9 2 10 minutes later! Hey, Matt got his too? <laughs> 10 minutes later, Grant! Holy crap, 10 minutes later? That's amazing. You get the big nine, the one he wanted? He's a giant, he's a 155 incher. You think he's 155? That's awesome. That's three bucks, man, in like 40 minutes. And <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking nuts. You know, we say in, yeah. we say in a muskie fishing a lot, just keep casting, just keep casting. And that's what we fit, and that's what we did. And Dude, we tripled, what? After meeting up with the boys and reviewing the footage, we just weren't okay. comfortable with Grant's shot placement. So we decided to back out, drive a couple miles down the road, and head in in hopes of finding Matt and Joe's bucks. There's a send to this game we're playing. I say nothing, you say nothing. Thank you. 